<laughs> oh, oh, this was lovely. This was part of our series called Let's Go, because we've been Let's Go Badger watching with John Stapleton and Kathy's staff last week with Let's Go Water Sports and things. And this Let's Go programme was great, wasn't it? There was so much in it. <laughs> Fantastic, no. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. She was asked to go duck watching. The main yeah. programme takes place in Pebble Mill, hosted by good old Cheggers. And if we look at the map, you can see the relationship of Pebble Mill to where Juliet was, just across the lake. In fact, Pebble Mill was about 100 yards away from where Juliet was. So you'll see Keith and I, along with uh, a ventriloquist, an escapologist, and um, a lot of funny things going on. We've got sound effects and things, and you had no idea. You're stuck in this duck hide, or whatever you call the thing, looking for a most peculiar duck that doesn't exist, at least it didn't that day on the pond. A moral dilemma, therefore, ensues. What happens when Juliet Morris goes duck watching? And tonight on Let's Go, ventriloquism, escapology, and Juliet Morris goes duck watching. She's out and about, uh, doing a bit of bird watching, I think. Uh, Juliet Morris, are you there and where are you? Keith, hello. I'm at a top secret location, so I'm afraid I can't tell you where I am or exactly where I am. We're here to do a spot of bird watching. Right. Now, sitting next to me is a bird watching expert, Keith Small, and he tells me that we're here to spot a very rare duck. What is this duck? Uh, it, it's called the red-headed smew. OK, oh, look, we can see people. That's a something. Scouts. We've got 30 seconds to go, all right? We've got six scouts. Would they scout? Well, yeah, possibly. So, John Wellesley, <laughs> let's go! And away he goes. This is good. Yes, I can see, yep. Uh, Oh, nearly all the chains have just dropped off straight away. Look, he's got, he's got his arms free. There's no problem there at all. The gag still isn't off. So, uh, he's having problems with that one. Go over to Juliet Morris, are you there? Certainly am, Keith. Hi, Hello. What, what are you doing? Having sandwiches? Uh, yeah, we've got sandwiches, jam tart. This is the essential bird watching kit. You've got to have your bread for the ducks, obviously. And unfortunately, though, not much luck on the duck front. Yes, but it's a, it's a particular duck, isn't it, that you're looking for? Yeah, it's the red headed spew. Now, um. Spew? What? <laughs> spew. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see I'm not an expert. Okay. <laughs> Well, the one thing I can tell you about it, because we've got a picture here in our studio, is the actually distinctive uh, red feathers. But, but what exactly are we looking for, Keith? It looks very much like a pot shard. It's like a what? A pot shard. It's another, it's another, it's another type, of, it's a type of duck, but it's very common to Britain. Are we not having ground. much luck, really, are we, we're, we're, I mean, we've seen not, six sorry. scouts. We've seen six scouts. <laughs> a jumping fish, which was very interesting. Uh, oh, and there are the scouts. Yeah, well, we always put our presenters to the test, you know, so could you just repeat to us, what is a pot shard? <laughs> Come on, Juliet. What is a what? What is a pot shard? It's a duck. Yes. And it's a bit like the duck that we're trying to spot. Very good. Uh, and that's about all I know about it. Like you don't them. really use one of these things. <laughs> you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you just lock it over the top? Because, it, well, to be honest, this isn't the best place to use it. It doesn't go that far. It doesn't sort of go... You, you need actually... Put a bit of, you need surprise. Something to do with the wrist action, is it? There's a head. We've got it. Got it. It looks like it's got a sort of dive moment. <laughs> it's not. It's not really. Oh. Is it? <laughs> but it's not, like, if you look at the other ones, it's not moving at its legs and it's not pecking at the water. And well, it must, must be moving its legs because otherwise it has no oh. It's not like pecking at the water and stuff. Juliet. And there is the moral dilemma. The producer has admitted that is not a real duck. But what will Juliet do? Will she play along? Or will she stand by her principles? <sighs> um, it doesn't look... No, well, it did. It should have been. It's a bit of a... We knew they hadn't, they hadn't appeared. They'd actually fled a couple of days ago. Oh, so many problems. I cannot tell you. You can't do that, though. Nightmare. You can't, um, can't fog a fake duck. It's a... I mean, really, quite honestly, if it had worked from a distance, which they don't look real. What, so you're going to get me to talk about these fake ducks? I can't. I can't talk about fake ducks. Well, no, I mean, but you can talk about the duck, the red-headed smear. Oh, I can talk about that, but I can't say that we've seen it. When you were filmed 
when you spotted it, you were really excited and yeah, you did see it. Do I have to say, do I don't know. No, we would not so be, these are remote control We would not be having this conversation if well, we hadn't messed it up. what do you think of this? We can't find it. Well, I, I, I mean, I'm shout. embarrassed about it. It's not. Do you know if I know the ducks are. <laughs> okay, well, I've got to say, any ventriloquist worth their salt uh, can actually drink a glass of water while, whilst doing the noble art. Yeah. Uh, can, can, you, can you do that squirrel? No case of squirrel. Thank you very much. Right now, it's time to find out how our amateur ornithologist is getting on. Juliet, are you there? Yes, I am. What does one need to, to actually go smew watching? What? Well, you need this. What's, what's Keith? What have what, what oh, you what? spotted, Keith? Oh, I just thought I saw, I saw yeah. something. It's a mallard. No, it, 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 is, it is a smew. Whoa! It's definitely a smew. How do you know, Keith? It's the distinctive markings, it's the red crest, it's the shape of the body. Now, it's not very clear to us there. Ju Juliet, what can you say? It's definitely a smew, <laughs> and I that's... Can see uh, it. I can That's see a duck, exciting. which yeah. looks like a mallard, with um, what looks like sort of bits of carrot stuck on its head. <laughs> it's, it's called a crest. Oh, a crest. A crest. <laughs> All right, Juliet, look, we're going to have to leave you there. We will come back to you at the end of the programme for a bit of a, our final update. Oh, well, uh, but look, are you, I was made there to talk about a fake duck. Well, I know. Can, can we drop that bit? It's been a busy show for all of us here at Pebble Mill. And it's also been a, a very, very busy and exciting time uh, for Juliet Morris uh, in a secret location somewhere in Great Britain. Yep, a real smile on your face. Is that because we spotted a smew? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. We, do, uh, we spotted a smew, didn't we, Keith? Yes, definitely. You've actually seen the red-headed smear. So will you be smew spotting in the future? Uh, maybe. <laughs> but maybe. We have, oh, yeah, I might do. Thanks very much for being a real star. And will you also thank Keith for me? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, as I say, we've had a fantastic time. Thank you, I am really grateful, please. Can we just do some stills? A couple of stills. Oh, no, give me a break. This is ridiculous. Do you mind? Do you mind, Toti? Yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to be a news presenter. That's lovely. Yeah. Juliet, to me, please. Good. And um, once more. Right. right. Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Thank you very, very much. Keith, thank you. Great. Ah, oh, it's me! <laughs> oh, a smew! I knew it! A spew! A smew! I don't know what it is. I got smew. <gasps> no. Shut up.